Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Conclave as now King Wallen of Scotland and Ireland. We did just have another succession in the last episode when our former character, who was this? I guess it was our uncle, King Waldev, died of severe stress. So we are now the 49-year-old King Wallen of Scotland. We are just in the middle of managing our various succession issues. We do have some pretty unfortunate factions here. Well, this one especially is pretty bad, the, the Council Paris faction, uh, but we can probably do something about this. We do have a focus available, so I think we'll go with carousing in order to get the plus three diplomacy, and we could potentially have a feast or two to improve people's opinions. I think we have to be at peace to do that, but this war is almost over. So we'll select that, and we can also put some of our council to work, hopefully improving the situation here. So let's see. Our spymaster is doing nothing, so I think we'll probably send him over to Munster to try and get her out of these factions. Whichever one this is, Scheme, I think. And maybe we'll recall our Chancellor from his attempted claim fabrication and see if we can get him to improve opinion with somebody else. The Earl of Ulster is in two factions as well. I think Malcolm of Galloway is probably going to leave this once he gets to 80 opinion, which he is almost at. So, alternatively, we could get rid of the Earl of Ulster by granting a duchy title to somebody, even to the Earl of Ulster himself, but uh, better, I think, would be to grant the County of Tyrone to a Scottish character and then grant them the duchy title. Hmm. Maybe we'll do that. We'll um, send our Chancellor to improve opinion with Galloway. It's here. And we'll find an appropriate person to give Tyrone to. Assuming that the council will, appro will approve it, of course. No, actually, we have the uh, ruler authority on title granting, I think, so we can just give this to whoever we want. Uh, they can be any marital status, not already a ruler. My religion and culture. Not a member of a great house. Let's see, somebody with high stewardship, maybe. Lawrence here. We'll give him the Caddy of Tyrone. And then grant him the Duchy of Ulster, which makes the Earl of Ulster a vassal of a vassal, so he can't be in our faction anymore. And presumably the new Duke Lawrence here will be very happy with us, so he won't be in factions. Though he does desire the Kingdom of Ireland, of course. Oh, we lost our spy master. Okay. Uh, yes, that was the Earl of Ulster, actually. So that makes sense. We'll instead appoint. Let's see. We don't have any powerful vassals who are annoyed at being left off the council, so we'll appoint our Duke of Man, who was our former spy master before Ulster forced his way onto the council. But we will have him scheme for a while in Munster, just in case he can do something useful for us. So Ulster should drop out immediately. Uh, unfortunately we still have Galloway here, but hopefully our Chancellor will approve opinion with him and get him out. If not, our short reign penalty will drop a little bit soon enough. Which should hopefully get him out. Betroth can marry the Princess of Scotland and the Prince of France. I accept. Um, do we still have our alliances. We have non-aggression pacts with the Holy Roman Empire, but we need to renew our pacts with France and Norway if we want to keep them, assuming that we can. They are still allied with us in this war, so... Is this the same marriage that I just sent you a message about? I think it is. All right, excellent. Galloway has had his opinion improved already. 
So he should be out of this faction. Any second now. Any second. Very soon. Maybe not. And in fact, uh, the Duke of Albany has joined as well. Hmm. Well, that is unfortunate. Uh, let's actually pay some attention to this war that's going on and go fight Connacht's army, hopefully before they finish that siege. Uh-oh. Word has reached me that an ambitious adventurer is gathering men for some sort of attack on my territory. Alright, well, I guess we can start plotting to kill him. We'll check back on that in a little while. Alright, we'll just march in here and fight this army, which should give us 100% very soon. And allow us to end this. And disband our troops. Which will stop the opinion penalties building up anymore. We can hold a grand tournament. Which may improve opinion with people. Or alternatively... Uh, oh right, Galloway has left the faction, that's good. Alternatively, we can just invite some of these people to a carousing party. Which might be worth a try, I suppose. May as well invite Galloway. Moray is much too young for a carousing party. We'll invite some of our other major vassals as well. Uh, we can't invite her. Do I invite her already? Either way. Um, and I guess the Duke of Man. He's our spy master, so it's probably a good idea to keep him on our good side. And let's see if we can just get back our alliance with Norway. Nope. Okay. How about France? I guess we no longer have the relevant marriage ties with France. So, let's see, we could try the Holy Roman Empire, who I believe we have a non-aggression pact with, but he won't accept an alliance. Well, maybe we'll just try to improve opinion with uh, Norway a bit, which I guess we can do with our Chancellor as soon as we're actually able to change his job. I just wanted to check on our plot here. Seems like we are unlikely to get this to 100%. So Galloway accepts our invitation to the feast. He will bring his best appetite for revelry. Sounds good. Duchess of Munster refuses. As does our Marshal, the Duke of the Isles. Um, Malcolm the Usurper of Albany accepts, though. Okay. Duke of Man declines. I think that was everybody. So our cousin can marry the Prince of Denmark. Okay. Not sure if Cousin is close enough of a relation to give us a non-aggression pact, but we'll see. My wife Katharina has complained about me being absent so often, and so when I found that I had some extra gold to spend, I decided to buy her something nice, maybe some sort of jewellery. Well, um... We can spend 5 golds, which improves her opinion by 15. 10 gold for 20 opinion, ruby earrings, and she'll fall in love with us, or we can just keep the gold. Well, let's splash out with 15 gold. We can afford it. Uh, 
has same interests and opinion, but base reluctance. They will not accept. Is his name King Glum? He does look pretty glum. Uh, Duke Malcolm the Usurper has forced our Marshal Duke Girik the Bastard to join his factions. Okay. Which is just this one faction for elective succession in Ireland. Well, that does make it dangerous. And the increased council power is also dangerous. I guess he's joined this one as well. Hmm. Well, our spymaster is still working on the Duchess here, but that doesn't help with the elective succession faction. And I can't remember whether the Duke of the Isles has accepted an invite to the party. Oh, and of course we have a peasant revolt now. As if we didn't have enough going on. Quite a large one as well. Let's see if we can retreat somewhere. Looks like he's not trying to attack me, so that's good. Well, I guess we're just going to have to raise our troops to deal with this. So he's headed to Lothian and Galloway. Oh, he is headed to Galloway. We're getting out of Galloway on the 15th. He's arriving on the 15th. Well, that could be unfortunate. I think we just have to disband this one. Oh, that's retinue. Ah, much worse. All right, so how about Lothian then? Can we get out of here? 13th. He's arriving on the 10th, so unfortunately we can't. Unless we can get out somewhere else faster. 12th. 11th. 11th. Ah, that was the 13th, so no. Alright, we'll disband this. Um, I think we might be able to evacuate you by boat. If we can raise enough here. Which we can. You just stay where you are. You stay where you are, I want to select you. Bring you over to Ulster. You guys can come down to Cumberland. And you guys can head over here. And we'll try to regroup with boats and... get our troops all together. Okay, we can get this army on boats and get them over to Ulster. Unfortunately, he is crossing a strike to try and attack me here, which uh, could be bad. He's at full morale and we are not. And neither are the reinforcements that we have on the way. I guess we'll just uh, make the best of this battle, though. We will have reinforcements and... They will add up to superior numbers, I think. This army's headed back to Clydesdale, so we are safe enough there. Okay, we changed his mind once the reinforcements got there, that's fine. Yeah, let's actually split you in half, we'll send... One fleet there, one fleet there, and we're going to need to do something about the armies gathering up here. We'll wait until they're in place and raise more boats. Unfortunate circumstances have forced me to cancel the bout of carousing that I had planned. Unfortunate indeed. Alright, the Council Power Faction is up to 128%, which is pretty bad. If they are going to deliver their ultimatum, 
while this war is going on, that could be pretty unfortunate. How long more is the Council discontent for? I had another year. I'll actually just send these boats around to pick up these troops. The good news, at least, is that uh, this is considered a defensive war, so we aren't angering our vassals by having their levies raised. Don't have righteous imprisonment on anybody relevant, unfortunately. Uh, she's just passing laws on her own council, that's fine. Alright, so we have 7200. We can raise some more troops from some of these counties. So we'll head over to Galloway, disband our boats for now. Head over to Galloway, raise troops there. Uh, this guy from Connacht is off to press his claim on Lion. Okay. Well, good luck. We do have a truce with them, so if he wins that, we could potentially conquer them a little bit earlier. Which would be okay by me. Alright, up to 81. So, this is Plains here. We should be able to find a... County without a river crossing. Not Carrick or Galloway. Teviotdale. We have to go around to Lothian, I see. Well, I think we can raise troops there as well, so we'll do that once our army gets around. Okay, so we should have the numbers to win this now. Just wait a little while here to get full morale. Actually, it's taking longer than I expected. But we're basically full now, we'll just go in. And actually, the Duke of Galloway is leading this battle, but I uh, guess I won't complain. And we were wounded in the thick of battle, okay. It never rains, but it pours, I guess. Um, we are 50 years old as well, so this could be bad for us. We don't have any other negative health traits, though, so hopefully we'll live. We can't change our focus to improve our health for a while, so we'll just have to hope that we heal. But we won that battle and got to 100%, so we can end the Peasant Revolt, at least. The Council will vote in favour. I guess we don't really want to use... Uh, oh, this is favors for a different character, so maybe we do want to do that. We'll just execute him, it's fine. And we have our troops disbanded. Alright, we can send ourselves into hiding, okay. Or we can hold a grand tournament. Are we the subject of a plot? Ah, by Prince Alexander, I see. He only has 60% plot power, though. I guess we'll just ask him to stop. Which he will do. Okay. Let's see if, what, if anything, we can do about these factions now. So I think probably the most powerful character is the Duchess of Munster here. Let's check the realm tree. Uh, Moray is not in factions. I don't think Galloway is in factions. Neither is Ulster. Jagirik is, so he's actually the most powerful character. Well, he's pretty close with Munster, actually. So it's the Duke of the Isles and Munster that we really need to be worried about. 
We are working on Munster with our Spy Master. Oh, we have Albany in here, okay. And getting the Duke of the Isles out would improve both of our factions, so I think we should probably prioritize that. So we can move our Chancellor over here to try and improve opinion, so I guess we'll do that. And maybe we should go ahead and hold the tournament as well. Gets us 100 prestige immediately and some opinion improvements. Let's hope the host invasion doesn't arrive. Or the adventurer. No, he won't be arriving for a while. So we should have time to hold this. Oh, we have an army down here we need to disband as well. Our cousin ends his plot. Okay, the Pope is happier. And it is time to let the tournament begin, and for the next few months, let all show their martial brilliance. This is the time. If this faction does fire now, I might just be forced to concede to their ultimatum and increase council power. I guess that wouldn't be the worst thing ever. So, this guy has been tragically wounded. Most unfortunate. Another person tragically wounded, most unfortunate. We, of course, are ourselves still tragically wounded. And Malcolm of Galloway got second place, okay. Stuart of Munster was crowned the winner. I guess we didn't get a third place? That's weird. Well, a glorious event anyway. Duke Malcolm's opinion, and I guess it's only the winners that get an increased opinion. Hmm. That seems different. Let's check a random person. Is there any plus five from held to tournament? No, apparently there's not. Let's desire a seat on the council, but as long as he's not in factions, I'm not worried about him. Alright, well, we're still in a pretty dangerous position, but we are out of time for this episode, so we'll have to end it here for now. Thanks for watching, and join me again next time.